we are going to take a look at storyboard referencing. It's a new feature coming in Xcode 7. I'm currently using the beta 2 release here. We're going to take a quick look at what they are and why you might use them. So let's go ahead and get started. I've gone ahead and created a single view application. It's a Swift universal application that I've got here with one view controller on the screen. As you can see, the starting out basic setup we have. But let's go ahead and quickly talk about the idea behind storyboard references. So the situation is this. Imagine you've got lots of these view controllers on the screen and they're all connected with segues and it's all very complicated to see what's going on and you want to focus on one little task at hand. Well, the idea is that you can group some of these view controllers together in separate storyboard files rather than just one big storyboard file and that enables you to either focus on a small aspect of the application or maybe you're working in a team and someone else can be working on different parts of the storyboards while you're working on say a login system or something like that so that that's the idea here so let's go ahead and create a situation where we need to clean up a little bit so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some extra view controllers in here let's just add a few more to the screen going to put those in there. Let's zoom out and move these around a little bit. So we've got these two extra ones here. And let's go ahead and create a button that we're going to use to create a segue and move into one of these screens here. Oh, I need to zoom in first. There we go. Let's do that. I'm now just going to create a segue over here. I'm just going to go with show. And then let's say that on this one over here, this other view controller, I'm going to add another button that's going to go to this view controller. And obviously this is not an amazing feat of programming here. This is just to demonstrate the idea. Let's add a button to this one. And let's just leave that button alone for now. So let's just zoom back out. Let's take a look at the storyboard referencing part now. So we've decided for whatever reason that we want to take these two view controllers and we just don't want to see them here. They're getting in the way. So we want to group them somewhere else. So the first thing you do is you just select these two view controllers. And then if we go up to the editor menu, you're going to see there is this refactor to storyboard. And if I just click on there, what happens is it comes up and it asks me to give this new storyboard a name. So I'm just going to call it part two for now. I'll just leave the rest of the default and hit save. And you can see that's what happened. It's created this new file and it's opened it for me. And if I just zoom back out, it's got our two storyboards. Okay, so that's that file. Let's go back to the main one. Now in the main one, we have this new little thing here you can see called part two. Part two is obviously our storyboard. And this is it. This is our storyboard reference. We're saying this segue is now referencing this storyboard. And that's all there is to it. I can even double click on this to open up the file. Okay, so that's how you create a storyboard reference. But let's take a look at another scenario. Down here in this view controller, we created this button that goes nowhere right now. But let's say I want this button to go back to the first view controller in that main.storyboard. So what I need to do now is I need to add a new object down here. And if I just type in storyboard, you're going to see it's got a storyboard reference. I'm just going to click and drag this up here like this. And now I'm going to right click on the button and I'm just going to go over here like that. And I'm going to say show. So let's set up my segue. In fact, let's keep it clean. Let's just move it down here. Now let's take a look at this storyboard reference here for a minute. There's obviously some things we've got to set up. So if we go across here, you can see on the storyboard reference here, first of all, it's going to want the storyboard that we want to go to. So I can click on here and it'll give me a list. And I can say, hey, I'll, you know, maybe the launch screen is a different one from the main one. In this case, it's not. I'm just going to click on main. So what are these other options? Well, you don't actually have to fill these in if you don't want to. What you can do is you can actually give main a different view controller here. So you could actually type in a different view controller name if you wanted for the, the class file. And this bundle part you know, maybe for there's a scenario where you have your own framework that's got a collection of these storyboards built into them or something like that. And so you can actually put that bundle name in there. Now for the simple setup we've got here, I actually just need to put in the storyboard name and leave it at that. 
and if I double click this you'll see that we'll now go back to the to the main one so now comes the fun part where we get to test this out we've done our two different ways of working with the storyboard references here so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens so I have it running in the iPhone 4s simulator here just so I can get everything to fit on the screen obviously I've not put in any layout constraints or anything like that so it's just defaulting to having you know the button slightly it's in the middle but off center here on this display but if we click on it we go to the next view controller click again for the next one and then click again to go back to the first one and everything works as expected so that is really how you use this reference storyboard referencing system it's very simple to get along with and i think you're going to find that on big complex projects it's really going to work out well for you and break down you know your views into smaller chunks for maybe multiple team members to handle or just for you to get you know clarity on what you're working with in the context that you need it and that's all there is to using storyboard references